Today we are discussing here CDMA, MDMA, DDMA. There are differences. This service and out of this, which service is better for you? International cocktail party is between the FDMA, DDMA and CDMA. First we describe FDMA. What is FDMA? FDMA is frequency division multiple access. Here large room divided up into small rooms. Each pair of people takes turn speaking. Second TDMA. It's large room divided up into small rooms. Three pairs of people per room. However, each pair gets 20 seconds to speak. Okay, it means the time slot is given to each of the users. Next is the CDMA. CDMA is code division multiple access. In this, no small rooms, everyone is speaking in different languages. If voice volume is minimized, the number of people is maximized. First, we are taking the definition. The first definition for the TDMA is time division multiple access. For FDMA, frequency division multiple access, and the third one is the CDMA, code division multiple access. And the diagram is shown under you just uh, more clarify with this diagram. Next is first we take the TDMA, the journal specification for that. First is for the receiver frequency is what they it is from 869 to 894 megahertz, and for transmitter it's 8 to 4 to 849 megahertz. The channel spaced is 832 and which is 30 kilohertz apart. It means three users per channel is there. Modulation scheme which we are utilizing here is DQPSK and the bitrate is 48.6 kbps. The interim standard is 54. Next the digital advanced mobile phone system we are utilizing here and uh, TDD, it is stand for time division duplexing. Now next is the TDMA operation. Efficiency of TDMA frame is equal to 1 minus VOH upon V total into 100%. What is VOH? It is stand for overhead width per frame upon V total. V total is what? That is TF into TRF. TF it stands for frame duration and RF it is stand for bit rate of the radio frequency channel. Next, what are the advantage of the DDMA? The advantage are here list. First is the flexible bit rate. No frequency guard band is required in the TDMA because it is divided into uh, a particular time is uh, provided to each of the users. So, uh, no guard band is required in the TDMA. No need of precise narrowband filters. Easy for mobile or base station to initiate and execute hands off. Next, battery life is more. Next, uh, TDMA installation offers saving in base station equipment, space and maintenance. And the last one is the most cost effective technology for upgrading a current analog system to this term. There also when there is some advantage also there are some of the disadvantages also there. So some of the disadvantages of the TDMA is uh, it requires network wide timing synchronization. Second requires signal processing for matched filtering and correlation detection. And third one is demands high peak power on uplink in transient mode and last one the multi band distortion. Multi band distortion is there in the TDMA. So these are the disadvantages of the TDMA. Next, uh, now we come to the FDMA frequency division multiple access the specifications are for the receiver the frequency is 8692894 megahertz and for the transmitter it is 8242849 megahertz. Channel space is 832 which is 30 kilohertz apart. It means we are utilizing three users per channel. And the modulation scheme which we are utilizing here is also DQPSK and the bitrate is 48.6 kbps used in analog cellular phone system that is AMPS and it is uses FDD that is frequency division multi duplex oh, sorry and ISI is inter interference is very low in the FDA 
and now next we come to the FDMA operation. So in this first is the number of FDMA channel. It is defined by n is equal to first is total spectrum minus 2 into that is guard band upon channel bandwidth. And uh, what we are utilizing in US is in US each cellular carrier is allocated 416 channels where n is equal to what it is 1. 2.5 megahertz minus 2.10 kilohertz upon 30 kilohertz that is you can come to 416 channels now same some of the advantages are also in the fdma first is if channel is not in use it is it ideal naturally each of the frequency is provided to an individual user so if the user is not utilizing that particular frequency so it should be ideal so there is wastage of the frequency Second is the channel bandwidth is relatively narrow that is 30 kilohertz. Next simple algorithmically and from a hardware standpoint. Fairly efficient when the number of the station is small and the traffic is uniformly constant. So FDM is more popular where the station is small and it is uniformly divided. Next is the capacity increases can be obtained by reducing the information bitrate and use efficient digital codes. No need of network timings as the frequency is divided. No restrictions regarding the type of basement or the type of modulation. Now we come to the disadvantages to use FDMA. The first one is the presence of guard band is there. Requires right RF filtering to minimize the adjacent channel interference. Maximum bitrate channel is fixed. Small inhabiting uh, flexibility in bitrate capability does not differ significantly from analog systems. The general specification for the CDM4 core division multiple access. For receiver it is uh, 8692894 megahertz for transmitter it is from 824 to 849 MHz. 20 channels spaced and they are apart from 1 to 50 kilohertz. It means there are 798 users per channel. And the modulation scheme which we are utilizing here is QPSK or offset OQPSK. And the bitrate is 1.228 Mbps. And IS is 90, uh, IS 95 standard we are utilizing the CDMA. Operates at both 800 and 1900 MHz frequency bands. Advantage of the CDMA. Many users of the CDMA use the same frequency. TDD or FDDU may be used. Multipath fanning may be substantially reduced because of large signal bandwidth. No absolute limit on the number of users. Easy addition of more users because it is dependent on the pawns. Impossibility for hackers to uh, decipher the code sent because the, all the data is in the code, so it is difficult for the hackers to take out of the data. So privacy is over there. Better signal quality, no sense of handoff when changing cells. And some of the disadvantage of CDMA are as the number of the user increases, the overall quality of the service decreases. Self-jamming is there and near-far problem arises.